Hi, this is Paul from paulrabby.com. Uh, another video on Xbrad Algo and what you should be looking for. This time uh, I'm looking at stocks. Uh, we did Forex yesterday. Uh, so this is net, it's one of the stocks that I follow with my inner circle. So, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the daily time frame. Again, linear support and resistance zones, really, really crucial to making those trading decisions with this with these algo signals. So we can see this high, uh, this top yellow support and resistance zone on the daily time frame. Test it once, twice, three times, four times, five times. You get a five star sell into support. You're not going to sell into support. What you're looking for is for that support to hold again, which it did. Starts to move away. You get a six star buy here. Where's your entry above these pivot points here? This was resistance, short term resistance. If it pushes through, it's going to go. As it did, it went and it's gone massively. Risk to reward again. Your stop is just below this recent pivot. Entry is going to be above this pivot here. Put on your risk to reward. These are at all time highs now. Uh, so when you get in these, uh, I mean, you know, you get a six star buy first time in quite a long time. You, you're going to go for it. Okay. Um, this has met all the criteria, it hasn't done this all year. All of a sudden we get that six star buy after testing that support zone. Again, I'm going to do a live session on TradingView in the next week and I'm going to set up and show you how to do these support zones. It's not rocket science. Uh, we, we look for those obvious support and resistance zones. And we look for those trades coming out of them. So, and this again, just to reiterate, entry it's got to be above a recent pivot, recent resistance. So, 4092 was the entry there. Stop has to be below the recent pivot and the support and resistance zone. In this case, we get a six star buy, and now we are almost at 200% profit times risk there. So, very, very simple. I'm going to continue to do these uh, videos just to keep reminding you of how to use the expert algo and not to overcomplicate things.